Hey guys, let's take a look and see what's going on with your energy. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you had an amazing day. What comes out? Uh, uh, five of them. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, collective, manifest your wishes. You guys have some things that you're trying to manifest right now. I'm going to pull that as the main energy that comes up for you. You guys want to manifest your energy. Give me more, please. You are manifesting. Um, there are some things, I believe, looking at this, I feel like there are some things that may have been hidden from you. Some of you guys didn't know how to get started manifesting. Uh, I look at this, and I also see that there's some sun that is shining. You also see the moon. So some things were secrets, right? Maybe somebody tried to keep something from you, or maybe you just didn't know how to manifest what you wanted. Maybe you didn't know what you wanted. I will heal and move on some of you guys are holding on to some things that may have hurt you some things that could have happened obviously in the past or you might be going through this right now right we all get hurt but you guys have to heal i feel like there's something there where you want to heal you have to heal in order to manifest your wishes right so that might be a challenge for you i see your goal is to manifest give me more please for the collective we also have here, let go of things that no longer serve you. You guys have some things that you need to get rid of, right? You have to release things, like I've been saying, in order to heal from a situation or whatever this is holding you back, right? You have to be able to heal from something, right? So you have to let these things go. Stop making the phone calls to these folks, right? I know it's hard. Stop waiting for these people to call you. Most likely they are not. Most of the time they call you when they're down, out, have nowhere else to go. And then you have to sit back and question that. So you have to let these things go. You cannot look back, right? And then you'll be able to manifest what you want. There's a lot of pain involved in walking away, but it kind of is what it is. I also have here, consider all things before acting. I feel like you guys haven't, um, you haven't thought everything through yet. I don't feel like you had the opportunity to do that just yet. All right, I feel like this might be something that's new. I'm feeling that this might be very recent for some of you guys. Let me see if I can make sure this thing doesn't fall. All right, we'll use that. Whatever that means to you. Uh, okay, yeah, manifest. Number, isn't that amazing? It falls right on number four under manifest. It did right there, number four, manifest. So yeah, you guys are definitely trying to manifest something. You have to let go of some things. You have to let go of some people. You have to... Make sure you act properly. What does that mean, right? So once you are able to pin down what it is you want to manifest, you want to be careful about the actions that you take because there are snakes in the mist. So I want you guys to see that there's a snake down below. Consider all options before acting. Some of you guys, you want to make sure you uh, don't physically utilize the spiteful part of yourselves, if you will, right? So act and you consider things before you act. Be careful with that. This is going to help you manifest thinking clearly before you make moves, right? Give me one more. We also have here practice chakra healing. Some of you guys need to work on your chakras. They might be out of balance is what I'm showing. So there might be some out of sync chakras. Somebody might be playing with their energy and it's stopping you from healing. That's something that you need to focus on. In order to heal, you're going to have to focus on those seven chakras, right? Uh, you want to take a look at the chakra charts. They'll be able to tell you which ones are out of whack because you'll feel it. Once you read the descriptions and you actually feel what the words are saying, you'll say, okay, they're trying to play with me right there. Like all things that don't serve you anymore, you will not stand in the shadow of another. Nobody's going to be able to cover you guys up anymore, okay? I feel like that's something uh, that somebody's been doing to hold you back, stopping you from healing, right? When you're not healed, you're not able to shine. Let's see what else comes up. We have the universe is speaking. Listen with all your heart. So you guys, there's something that I feel like you guys want to do. All right. I feel like this is a you want to do it. I feel like I'm getting this feeling like you need to be very careful about what this is that you're trying to do. I don't know what this is, but you're not healed. You got some chakras you got to work on because you want to manifest. Uh, you want to manifest your dreams, right? You want some things to happen for you. But your chakras are out of whack. So if your chakras are out of whack, that means that somebody's in your energy playing with you, right? There's some imbalances there that you could potentially act on. You want to be very careful with that because that can lead to some snake behavior, right? You might end up doing some things to some people who didn't deserve it. Or maybe you shouldn't get your revenge that way or something like that. I don't know. But I'd be really careful with that energy. I don't think you guys are going to do it. I just think this is pointing out what we need to do. In order to manifest wishes. Give me one more. Okay, it came out. Real change starts from the inside. I think you guys realize that, right? So you have some changes that will start once you guys start working on those chakras. Okay, let me move this over a little bit because that's really annoying me. I mean, honey, when I tell you it's aggravating, you guys know me. It's like really aggravating. Anyway. <laughs> that's so annoying. 
Yeah. You guys have to make these changes on the inside and then they'll start to translate and you'll be able to manifest what you want. All right. Give me one more for the collective, please. One more. I am becoming a better person every day. You guys are doing the work. You're not standing in the shadow of anybody else. I feel like you are letting these things go. So I feel like if I let me pull one more and I'll tell you what I think. Give me one more, please. Beauty is all around you. Okay. I feel like here you guys have this warning or you realize I'm not healing. What can I do to heal myself, right? And I feel like that's where the seven chakras come into play. I feel like you guys have done the work. I feel like the changes have started on the inside because you start to let go of things that don't serve you anymore. You also decide I'm not going to stand in anybody else's shadow. I'm not here to be placed uh, in the shadows, all right? You are not going to take credit for my happiness, my creativity, or whatever else. is. You're not going to take credit for that. I gave birth to that. That is truly who I am. So you guys are not going to stand in the shadow because somebody decided to hurt you. So you can stay in the shadows, repressing talents or whatever. These people are here to steal this from you, right? It says now that you are in this understanding, right? That I have to let go of things. I have to be careful about how I manage my actions, right? So these people could have pissed you off. They could have said and done some things that weren't nice, been snakes to you. And you're like, I have the option to do this, A, or I have the option to do B. Now, option A is going to take me to heaven. Option B is going to take me on another path, right? A real fiery one. So I don't know if I really want to do that. But you guys need to understand that you want to listen with all your heart. I feel like in some cases, these two cards telling me that you want to be mindful of ego and how you react to it. But beauty is all around you. I feel like you guys are going to act favorably. Because you want to manifest your wishes. I, to an extent, feel like... Uh, to me, this feels like it's some sort of learning. Like a path, right? It's like, um, I will heal and move on. That's my challenge. You will not stand. I learned, right? I'm not going to stand in anybody else's shadow. And beauty is all around you. And you realize it. Okay. So, let's just take a quick look and see who's who. I know it looks a little weird. But I think it's, you know... Definitely a festive bunch of cards. <laughs> Definitely. Tell me what's going on with the collective. Give me one card. I don't need a ton of cards. What are they going to heal and move on from? Or I guess you tell me what I need to know. I'm using these. Don't ask me what they are. It's a cute uh, it's a cute deck. It's something. I can't remember. It's over here somewhere. What's this, what's this uh, healing and moving on? Two of Cups. This is you guys trying to... Uh, Move on from a partnership or a romantic relationship. Two of Cups can be a relationship. I believe this is love. And I feel like you guys may have had a broken heart. And I feel like thrown out of balance. But change starts, right? So something with the Two of Cups will be the reason why you're healing from something. All right? You guys could be healing from heartbreak. Two of Cups is going to be somebody who is in a romantic relationship. A partnership. It was a marriage or a proposal. Something that you hoped for with whatever person, right? This could have also... I just want to... This two of cups is not always love. It can also be partnership. Okay. <laughs> I just want to clarify. Everybody ain't on. Oh, I'm so in love tree. I'd love to be there. But uh, anyway, tell me what else do I need to know? So you guys are balancing out your chakras from some sort of heartbreak with the two of cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio is who you guys could have been dealing with. Uh, what else do I need to know here? Letting go of things. What do they need to let go of? The Three of Wands. So Three of Wands talks about some kind of heartbreak, right? You're releasing some kind of heartbreak after some sort of a, di a divorce. This is something where you guys definitely suffer. This is romantic, I think, right? This is some kind of this is some kind of breakup. So you guys may have had a breakup. Maybe you had some delays getting over this because it says that you're having a, a problem letting things go, let go of things that no longer serve you. Some of you guys are still holding on to some sort of heartbreak. After a relationship, there's some delays here with you guys getting over something. For some of you guys, you're trying to move on, but you've had some setbacks or something like that. Maybe you were dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, all right? Possibility you might be experiencing some sort of a breakup here. Give me more. Tell me, consider your actions. Why is that reversed? Did you guys do something? Tell me if the collective did something. Maybe somebody... That was ugly. Okay. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. 
I do not mind switching up in the 11th hour. I don't give a darn. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. I'm going to try you again. All right? Again, it's under manifest. Somebody's trying to manifest a new beginning in a partnership. Okay. Something's not complete here. What is this action? Why? Okay. Again, what is this consider all actions? Why is it reversed? What? What was the collective going to do? The collective was actually going to... Four, four discs. Okay. I feel like it says consider all options. I feel like you guys, first of all, want to gain some independence when it comes to finances, right? You want some security. I think the cards are saying that you want to be very careful of how you get it. Consider all options before taking action. Some of you guys want some kind of stability after this, right? And I feel like there's been some delays with you letting go of some romantic partnership where you guys broke up. Because I said, what are you healing from? Answer. Romantic or business partnership. What do I have to let go of? The cards are saying here, I have to let go of some sort of heartbreak. Something that could have happened here. Something that separated from me, set me back, which again goes back to heartbreak. So I can't let go because I'm still holding on to this situation. Everything is blocked. My creativity, you know, I can't move on. I can't plan anything. I don't have foresight. I don't know how to move on. What am I considering doing, I asked. I am considering making sure that I have some long-term stability because I'm afraid. I'm scared of change. I don't necessarily want to out or get rid of this situation. I know I need to let it go, but it's the thing that hurt me. But in order for me to be stable and have long-term security, I have to find a way to get money because I fear change. So because I fear change... I need to be very careful about how I get my money, how I get my finances, how I gain my stability. Some of you guys are so afraid, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, of not having money. It's really, it's really, 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 really weird. People like that, this afraid of not having money are people who have probably bragged, them, oh, I got all the money. So now when the mighty falls, you look crazy. Now, if you would have stayed humble the whole time or if this person would have stayed humble the whole time and you lost your money, honey, let me tell you how fast we donate. Listen, first of all, nobody would know you broke, okay? That's because all your girls is going to step in and make sure that you got the right shoes, okay? We're going to say this one, get those are yours. Oh, that's your side. We're going to make sure nobody would know you're broke. But when you have haughty type of uh, energies that come through that are strange, those people are bragged, trust me. There's always the ones up bragging and kill. Oh, oh, yeah, I got this and that. When they fall, it's like an element of depression. It is just, oh, my goodness. It is like, what is wrong with you, man? That just tells me that there's no internal joy. I don't know who this is, but this is what you're recovering from. You could be recovering from a person in this energy, too. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um. All right, so... Uh, beauty all over the change starts from the inside those are great so in the shadow what was in the shadows or what are you failing to listen to clarify in the shadow of another and what are you failing to listen to or tell me what i need to know sorry about that guys i apologize all right the empress reverse okay so for some of you guys there was an empress reverse here hold on let me be clear let me be clear about this whoever this is here the three of wands there's an empress reverse that does suggest that there was something going on with three people if you want to look at it that way, right? Because Three of Wands is also about teamwork. It's about expanding some sort of converse. Somebody wanted, somebody did some to those three people here, right? So you will not stand in the shadow of another. You are not standing in the shadow of this Empress Reverse. Now, let's be clear about who she is, okay? She's a hoe, all right? She's out for the bread. She's laying on her back for money, okay? She got fertility issues. This is one of them chicks that don't know who the baby daddy is. And she calling around, oh, so-and-so, you might be the daddy. I'm going to need like two, three thousand. First of all, for me to shut up and then I'm going to need that for other stuff, right? This is the type of chick that's going to say, I'm pregnant by you, even though, you know, she knows she ain't pregnant by you or in some cases not pregnant at all, but she wants some bread. All right? She's going to be interrupting your household, Right? She probably some, or she, I mean, she could even be a baby mama, but the Empress Reverse can also be somebody who's dependent on money. Take it how it resonates, depending on what other cards come out, right? Because this says four pentacles here, which is four discs, and I got the Empress Reverse, 
I'm looking at a chick who's probably a baby mama or something like that, right? Who's out for bread. Like every single time you turn around, oh, I need 10 more, whatever, because they always got an excuse, right? They always trying to interrupt your stuff. There could be some more cards that come out and it could suggest that this is a mother or a mother-in-law. Then first reverse. She again is dependent, right? Because she's trying to hold on to somebody's money, the son or the daughter's money. I don't want you to leave from outside my quarters because I can't see what you're doing with the money. So this is the type, if it is a mother-in-law or mother, she's going to be like, any chick you bring home or any dude, you, oh, I don't like him or her. Oh, no. I heard some bad things about their family and this and that. That's because she's trying to hold on to you. So y'all got some selfish trick, right? Again, you, I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, but you do have some dudes that put their mothers before uh, their wives or whatever that's about. And, you know, unfortunately, in, in, uh, in our society, you know, marriage rates are really going down. So that might be a baby mom. I don't tell you. Whatever. Take it how it resonates. But you guys are definitely embracing some sort of change here where you're not playing second to anybody, especially this Empress reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus energy. She reversed. So we're going to cover her face up because she don't matter. And we're going to put, I can embrace change. Okay. And your face don't need to show her. It's shout out. Give me what else I need to know. Uh, what else do I need to know? So you guys were standing in somebody's shadow. What were you not listening to? I'm getting the feeling that somebody might have been saying something to you. Or you have this intuition collective that you were ignoring maybe. Oh, let me see what this is. Yep, seven of swords. Somebody stealing something from you. You guys kind of felt it on the inside that you were being stolen from or betrayed by somebody. Somebody could have been lying to you and being dishonest with you. All right. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about your marriage again, which is what brought us here in the beginning with the two of cups. All right. Somebody betrayed you in a relationship. That's what really this is about for this particular one. It's about somebody running away from you. It's about a divorce or somebody having an affair. So, yes, there was an affair. All right. That was Libra Aquarius Gemini. There was an affair had with an Empress Reverse. She could be a Taurus. She could be a Libra Aquarius Gemini. She could be anybody at this point. But there was an affair had, and that's what you're recovering from. That's what you're holding on to. That's where the resentment comes from. So today is a sacred gift from the universe. You guys woke up, and it's a gift because you are aware that you got snakes. You see those two up there? Today is a sacred yeah, You see that? You know you're very aware, and you can embrace change. That means that you can tackle anything that comes in front of you. Because you're well aware of what's going on and what's out there. And I feel like the changes have started. You guys have acknowledged that somebody betrayed you. Whoever this person is that betrayed you. I feel like you guys are aware of it. I feel like they really tried to. This one really strikes me as. Uh, first of all, this person trying to get you off of money. If I really want to look at it from a criminal perspective. This person is embezzling money from you. Or getting embezzling. Right? Taken from you to give to me, whether I get it by lying or whatever. Somebody lied about some money. That's number one. Number two, it could be a baby mama lying. Empress reverse. Somebody might be holding something over your husband's head like a baby. All right. It could be of an empress reverse holding over a baby or saying that they're pregnant, trying to scare the guy. But I mean, at the end of the day, she wouldn't be able to call up if he wasn't over at the bed house with her, right? So I'm just saying. All right. So, yeah. Somebody might be trying to figure, somebody could actually be in the military here too, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody could be in the military, the Knight of Swords. Somebody who changes uh, changes scenes, changes scenery often. When I say that, this person is most likely on the road. They go from place to place or, you know, they got a bunch of chicks or dudes in different towns, like, or whatever. Or this person could be in the military. What about this person? Some of you guys... Um, this, some of you guys, you could have an Empress Reverse who's in the military. Some of this has somebody's in the military. Somebody's in the military, I feel like. Uh huh. Somebody's partner probably went away somewhere. And obviously, they had sex and a call came, and you got the Three of Wands, and somebody did this on purpose. It was during travel. Three of Wands is travel, reverse. Three of Wands is traveling, or somebody's not traveling anymore. You aren't traveling anymore, but this pregnancy with this Empress Reverse or this encounter happened on a travel. I'm just going to tie it up for you. What else? And you have the Ace of Wands. Yep, somebody has sex. All right, Ace of Wands. There's a new romance. 
somebody could have went out on a job or something like that, but somebody had sex on the road. It was somebody in the military who had sex on the road with an empress reverse. Somebody had an affair. This is what you're recovering from, but you also find out that this person tried to do something with your money. However, you also realize that your life is difficult without money. So the question to you is, how do I get my money, right? How do I get it? Do I embezzle it? Do I get it dirty? So I feel like that's something that you guys are working through because you're trying to figure out how do I get my money? Be ethical and moral about it, even though this person screwed around on me, right? While I trusted them. So I feel like you guys have some things that you need to answer, but somebody has sex on the road, but this is also a new romance job project or somebody creating something. Somebody has sex on the road. Ace of Wands. There's a new romance. Somebody was getting down like, I mean, age. Mm. Anyway, I think that's what you guys are getting over. That's all I have for you. I'm going to leave it there. Um, Ace of Wands, you guys could actually, some of you guys could actually be entering a new relationship. Let me not uh, forget that. You could have a new romance coming in because this is what you're healing from. So when you start to manifest... And you could be, so look at it this way. You are healing from a relationship that failed because somebody cheated on you, left you out in, in the cold in terms of money. You're stuck. How do I get my stability? My relationship was interrupted by an empress reverse somehow, right? Who wanted some money. She's an empress reverse. So it's not one of them things where, oh, you a hoe because it was my man or my woman. No, this woman's a hoe. I mean, or man, they, they, listen, back alleys, back seats, whatever. They don't give a, she want her bread. All right, so she going to do it wherever. This guy also on the road, he wanted a romp too. This one over here, he wanted a romp in the hay. He's in the military on the road. So I feel like you were in a relationship with this person or you were married to this person. This person cheated on you with this thing over here. And it took you some time to heal. But I feel like there's new romance coming in for you guys. That's another thing that that card means. What well, I just do with that card? Oh, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like that's what that means. Ace of Wands, something new is coming in for you too, right? So somebody had a new romance on the road. That was your boo. Now this is you having a new romance coming in, right? Listen, you gonna have, listen, you good. Your boo ain't got to worry, girl. Listen, the new one you got coming in, he good. Look, he good. <laughs> Ain't nobody checking for this thing. Bye. What's wrong with these people? Like, is you crazy? Don't you know how big the world is? I'm just saying, like, you got the Ace of Wands coming in. Listen. Hi. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.